Hello everyone and welcome to a new Flixio tutorial. In this one I will tell you how you can use Flixio within a team. So uh, the first time when you sign up you'll actually see this screen but if you go under users and teams here is where you'll see your users and for now it's only me I am the team owner I created this account but I can invite another user so I can click here and then just type an email address and click invite. The invite will be sent and let's see we got it here already and for now I'll just copy this link because I'm already signed in into this uh, browser tab with uh, or window with uh, my account and I'll paste it here into an, a different tab so I can show you. Uh, so let's say my name is Johnny and And now I'm into my account. Let's make this bigger. And I will basically see the same screen here. And under users and teams, I can see the team that I'm part of and who are my colleagues. Um, going back here, you'll see that the invite was sent and just by switching the tabs, you can also see that I have accepted um, the invite on the other account. Um, okay, now let's get started with sharing things. So if I go into my team space, I can create my first video. Let's say first showcase. And I'll just click create. Now I already have something here in my library. Uh, so if you don't, you can just click the import button and choose from all the sources. And this is my personal library here and it's important to know that you actually have two libraries in your account, a personal and a team library and this one is empty. But if I click the personal library and I click, I right click and share with my team, you will get here a small icon indicating that this item is shared and then I can also switch and I can see that uh, this, uh, this team has an account. Now in this project of mine, which by the way, it's still personal as well. So everything that you create is personal, unless you are in the team library and you upload files directly in the team library, which will make them shared uh, directly. But as I said, this project is, um, is uh, personal. So let's uh, save it. And if I go back to projects now, I can click on these three dots and click share with team. And you will see that um, uh, this project now is shared. So if I go here in my team space now, I have my project. And if I click on it, you will see that, uh, that I can edit and continue editing the project. And as I said, the personal library of this account is empty because nothing here was uploaded. But if I click on the team library, you will see the file that was shared with me. So this is how this works. Um, now, uh, let me show you what happens if two people want to go into a project at the same time. So I'm editing there and if I want to access this project, I'll actually get a notification that uh, I cannot do it until the other account leaves the project. But um, I'll do it for a second. So now I'm out. And if I come back, you'll see that the project is enabled for me. Um, what I'll do, I'll just duplicate this and leave an empty space and save the project, go back. And if I go back into the other account, you will see that this is synced already. My timeline is, uh, is uh, scaled differently, but you can see that the project now was instantly synced between the two accounts. So you can easily do edits and showcase what you've done. If I click uh, back and I will let uh, this account uh, uh, edit the other one, I can go here into, into my original account, the one that shared the project, and I can click the three dots again and click unshare, which will take this uh, project away from the team and it will just show it into my personal library and if I go back now you'll see that I don't have a project anymore into this account. One more thing to notice is that you can also handle your media uh, files from the media library in here if you need more space so you can still switch between personal and team and um, you can uh, 
import files here as well. So if you want that, that could be easier. If you want to unshare a file and not a project, but a single file, you will need to be in your personal library. Right click on the file and click unshare. And now you'll see that the icon disappears and the file is not shared. That's it for now. I hope this was helpful and um, come back to see more. Thank you.